What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have a really cool product, probably one of my favorite products of the summer that I have picked up is the Aerial Rider D-Class bike. It is an electric bicycle. It is very cool, very fun, and really bringing me back to my childhood. Uh, enjoying it. So I'm going to give you all the details on this electric bicycle, reasons for getting it, things like that, all in my video today. Uh, try to give you as much information as possible and get into it. But first, just wanted to say thank you for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you like review videos, usually I try to find value items. This is a little zinger, but I usually try to find value items that I find, tech, electronics, things like that, all kinds of items though. Uh, I do the research for you so you don't have to. Try to find positives and negatives. Try to give you all the information as easy as possible and then leave some links in case you guys are interested in some of these items. So thank you so much for everyone that is tuned in. Thank you to all my subscribers that I have now and you know, continue to pour in the great feedback, questions and everything that I can help you. I just do it to help. Uh, anyone out there on some of these products, uh, if you are looking for them and try to give you guys some information on them. Let's get into the video first. We were going to just talk about the aerial rider. I'm going to give you a close up uh, look of the bicycle, take you all around, show you some things. I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. And then kind of talk about what you get when you get the box and that type of stuff. All right, everyone. So this is my aerial rider. I do have some extra things on this, but I'm going to tell you everything that will come stock with it when you pick it up. Uh, they will mail it to you. It will come in a pretty significant box, at least, you know, five feet long. Uh, so it does have some few things that you'll have to put on, and I'll go through that. In the box, it will have the charger here. I'll bring you the specs a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you the bike here. So... This is a, they do mark this a class two uh, max motor product with a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour. Now it does go 20, more, 20 miles per hour, but you can adjust that and we'll talk about that later. This is the battery right here that's underneath the seat. You do get a long banana type seat on this particular bicycle. Uh, they have changed this up a little bit now. And like I said, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, about the different models they have. But on the back, you do have a little bit of an LED light. There's no signals on this or anything, but just a LED light. You do have a battery tester, so you can see where your battery uh, is at, which mine is fully charged. And you do have on and off switch, and this is your charging port here. You do have a nice fender here. Uh, you do come with the uh, uh, Kenda crusade tires here these are uh puncture resistant type of stuff you can see the sizing here you do have a shimano gear uh, set here very nice you do have optional passenger foot pegs here that just fold out they're not the greatest but they do work sufficiently uh, your frame here is a hard rigid frame there's no suspension here in the back so just to let you know and you do have seven gears here with the Shimano uh, Atlas here. You do have uh, freewheel action here and metal pedals. This is, you do have spots for a, like a cup holder here, like this one here that is does come with the bike. Uh, I'm using this for a lock. This is actually a lock that I purchased. It is metal uh, that I can use to lock up the bike. You will have to put on when you do get the bike, you will have to put the front tire on. You will have to put the fenders on, the headlight on, and the handlebars on. So you do have to put it and the pedals on. Assembly will be required to get this all together, but it's not too bad at all. You will have, uh, you know, like a lot of cables to hook up and things like that, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Same thing, you got the Kenda Crusades on the front. You do have... Uh, little reflectors all through the bike you do have a nice led headlight that i had to point down a little bit because it is extremely bright you do have like i said the fender i bought a little accessory kit with some tire patch accessories to if i ever get a flat i can patch it up on the run you do get these extremely long handlebars which i do like because you it really gives you an upright seating feel so it is very very cool 
that you get I that. I also put so. some mirrors on. These mirrors do not come with it. I put these mirrors on. It would be nice to get a better kind of horn or bell because you just get the old school bell there. You do have gear shifts here, so you can shift through the gears to get your seven gears. But really what this bike is for is to be going electric. You do have nice brakes and they are the disc brakes. I can show you that on the other side. So you do have disc brakes here and they are very, very nice. They do a good job. You have front and rear disc brakes. Also, when you apply the brakes, it will shut your motor off. So that is very important. So when you're rolling, your motor will go off and it will allow you to get better braking. I did buy some extra accessories. I can hook up a speaker here so I can listen to some music if I want. I have my phone holder here. I will leave links for these little products uh, there. And I do like that it fits just perfectly so I can put a bottle of water in here. Tell you a little story about that too. But everything is very, very nicely. It does have front uh, shocks here. You can see that it does have front shocks. So it does have some suspension up front. But it is a hard, and I would call like a rigid frame in the back because there's no suspension back there. And some of their new models, they do have suspension like on the Aerial Grizzly, which is similar to this because it does have dual motor hubs. So this is a hub, motor hub on the front, and this is a motor hub on the rear. They are both 750 watts. Very, very nice and legal. Uh, so that's the maximum you can have on most, not considering an off-road vehicle in most cities and states. So check your local listings for that. But uh, 750 watts and class two at 20 miles an hour are some of the criteria. Also have to have a pedals and things like that to consider it a bicycle and to be able to ride it legally on sidewalks and things like that. Oh, little things you have to check into, but it is 750 watts on the motors, but it is dual. So you're getting a lot more power because you have the dual motors front and rear. So one thing I want to show you is the LCD screen and the, the nice leather grips here. I haven't had any issues with these coming off or anything like that. So that's nice. Uh, the, the nice cables and how the look, the braidedness of uh, all the cables and everything. Very, very nice. You do have your on and off switch so you can adjust some things here and you do have you can turn your motors on uh, individually so you can go you know front or rear motors or in the middle is both motors and i usually keep it in both motors because it just is the funnest uh, in that mode but you can adjust that to front or rear which is cool i would say if you do put it on front be very very careful because it does it's very torquey and it will torque steer on you a little bit i want to show you the battery the battery just slides out it kind of clicks in and slides out uh, so you just slide it out and you click it in and it holds pretty tight so i haven't had any issues with it coming out or anything like that it does rattle a little bit so uh, i'll show you how it works when you turn it on you will get your headlight will come on as well there we go very very bright headlight your display here with the time how many volts you can see that i'm fully charged it is a 48 volt system they do have 52 volt systems as well or batteries for these mine is supposed to be a 48 but when fully charged it does come up to almost you know uh, 52 but I do have it set for 48. So it will tell you, you know, distance, trip meters and things, how much time you put on the bike. I've, I've put a little bit more. I think I've reset it once. Uh, then, then it shows here. You can go through the menu if you just double tap this. And then you can go through some menu options here by simply going up or down there. You can see, you know, your scenes, analog, voltage, power. You can get into some other extra settings inner you can get some extra settings uh, you can change your battery to you know the 50 volt 52 volt system I keep it on 48 uh, you can see your wheel size things like that you can get into some advanced settings which will change the speed of the bike you will have to put in a code to do that but you just hit enter it'll ask you for a code and I believe it is uh, one nine one one nine and then that will take you to your speed limit now it is set from the factory at 20 miles an hour you can see if i've already adjusted mine adjusted mine you can set it for whatever you'd like if you only want it to go to a certain speed like if you were giving this to a kid or something you could definitely adjust it and put it for whatever you want 
but if you just set it to 99, it will allow you the fastest this bike can go. To my testing, the fastest I've got it to go is 37 miles an hour, uh, which is very, very fast for a, a bicycle. Now you can see it timed out and went back. Also in that menu, uh, if I could have shown you, is that uh, you have nine pedal assists. You could have three, five, or nine. You can adjust those to whatever you want for your pedal assist, which uh, as you can see right here is this number right here. You can see I can go all the way up to nine pedal assists. And so nine being the fastest when I start, it'll uh, start to go the fastest. So you can see, but I usually keep it on zero, which is full just throttle, which is a twist throttle and the bike will start going, okay? Other than that, you can go through some um, options here. Range, it says it's getting, it says about 50 miles there, trip meter there. Max speed, you can see 35 miles an hour. Average speed, 14 time, and then the range is a little bit off. But you can see that it does have a lot of extra things you can look up. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down to shut it down. All you do is press the button and hold, and you will shut the bike down, and then don't forget to turn your battery off on the back as well with the switch. Back, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the specs on this bike a little bit, and then talk over them as we go just so we can get better into the video and you can learn a little bit more about this bike so this is a 2021 aerial rider it is a d-class it is an all-wheel drive dual motor 750 uh, front and rear motors both of them are 750 watts which comes up to about 1500 watts of motor in there so that's pretty pretty cool it does will travel according to their specs 20 to 40 miles which i am definitely getting I was saying I was really close to the 33 miles plus, so I can easily get 40 miles before needing to charge that 18 hour Samsung celled uh, battery that it comes with. It is a 48 volt battery. This bike does have 80 uh, Newton meters of torque. So it is pretty good for torque. It does have some torque. It does have those four inch fat tires, the Kenda, Crusade fat tires, puncture resistant. It does have a top speed of 37 miles an hour, but out of the box, it will be set at 20 miles an hour. So just something to let you know. It does have uh, three, five, or seven, or actually nine on this bike, uh, levels for the pedal assists on there. Three, a 48 uh, volt, three amp hour smart charger for your battery. It does have the seven speed Shimano uh, Atlas gear shift, and it does have Tektro HDE 350 hydraulic brakes. It does have about uh, four to five hour charge time to charge the battery. So it will take a little bit of time to charge the battery, but it's still pretty good. I don't let mine go till it's completely flat dead. So usually it takes me about four hours to charge the battery. The bike does weigh 74 pounds, so it does have some weight to it. It is a heavier uh, bicycle, but it is very friend and feels nimble on the road when you're, when you're driving it. Other than that, like I said, I showed you how to unlock the full power from it. So just something in there. And then ending the company Aerial Rider has been uh, doing some things where they've been changing some of the items on the bikes. They've remodeled all the X-Class, I believe. Yes, the X-Class, they've remodeled some of their frames and things and added suspension and things like that with the X-Class. They do have a step-through X-Class and now just a stock X-Class, which they are still running about the same price. And the biggest difference is that the step-through will have some different handlebars, some frame redesign, uh, they're going to give you an optional seat instead of the banana seat like is on this bike. They're going to be throwing in some turn signals now. And they'll have that 52 volt battery system with a 20 amp hour uh, capability. And they're saying they're up, up to the range with that uh, to 70 and 80 miles. So you can get a lot more mileage and range out of those 1000 watt motors that are on those particular bicycles. Also on the Grizzly, uh, which is their most expensive bike at $3,300. That will have a 52 volt battery system, 35 hour amp dual batteries. So it's gonna have a battery for each motor. One is a 15, I believe, 
and the other one is a 20. So you're going to get a lot of battery power to those two motors that are also a thousand watt motors. Um, but they're still saying it goes up to, you know, that 35 to 37 miles an hour, but it also has dual suspension. So it is their fastest, most suspensioned bike that they have is the Grizzly, which I would say is very comparable to this one. It just has bigger motors and it has suspension. So I think those are the biggest details. They also have redesigned their headlights and some of their frames and things like that. But this one would probably come the closest to the Grizzly when it comes to the dual motor system. So 20, this was 25, uh, it was about $2,600. So it is a very expensive electric bike, but totally worth it. But yes, almost expensive as some used cars out there. So it, they are expensive, but it is fun to ride. It will speed up a lot of normal things like if you do on a bike like i do ride it to work occasionally because i only have maybe less than five mile trip to work um, when using this bike it is almost like a mini dirt bike actually when it comes to street riding because it, of it being on an electric bike it is very fun it definitely puts a smile on my face but at the same time, I'm not driving my car, I'm saving gas, I'm saving money on gas and things like that. It is definitely was worth the investment. It is an investment to do this. Other than that, one other thing I wanted to do is because I know people, and I had a question on how does this look compared to other bikes? So I wanna show you that really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some bikes up and show you the size comparison. I am a six foot individual and I fit on this bike quite comfortably in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you that. It does have a kickstand and I love the banana seat, like I said, cause you can actually scoot back a little bit more and kind of ride uh, with the handlebars. I love the high handlebars. I actually have some back issues and being a nice upright position really, really helps my back. I don't have to be hunched down or anything. Uh, cause some of the, um, other models come with lower handlebars. So I do like the high handlebars, but you can see I am flat footed. I am six foot on this, but it feels very, very, very comfortable. Uh, I do, if you have kids, you can definitely ride a passenger on here. Uh, no problem. And with the dual motors, you'll have plenty of torque and system to be able to carry, uh, any passengers or, uh, you know, a good amount of weight on this bike so very very cool there i just wanted to show you kind of how i look how everything and it is a very very comfortable and this thing is very very agile like i've been riding motorcycles my whole life and this thing feels very similar when you're riding it but i do want to show you a couple comparisons on some other bikes like if you were comparing it to a normal 24 inch or 26 inch mountain bike on this bike but I wanted to just make sure, yeah, this is a 26 inch mountain bike, but you can see that the handlebars are considerably taller, about at least two to three inches on the aerial rider. Uh, and the seat height, and you, this is adjustable, but the seat height on this is, I, is for me, and I raise it all the way up that it can almost can and it's still about the same size as the aerial rider so you can see definitely some size uh probably pretty similar uh height as a 26 inch bike uh also i just wanted to, as a comparison here's a 20 inch little 20 inch bmx bike and you can see that definitely dwarfs that but still has some of the same feel as a 20 inch bmx bike since this has no suspension and it's kind of rough does feel a little bit similar a little bit bumpy to something like this other than that I just wanted to kind of give you guys a kind of universal look at the d-class talk about some of their other bikes the Grizzly is definitely the upgraded version of this bike with suspension and upgraded motors and things like that so if you can afford it I would definitely go for the Grizzly but this was a nice medium in between I don't know if they're gonna still have this. I will try to find links for all their bikes so you can kind of take a look at all of them and find out what's best for you. I do love having the dual motor system for sure. 
uh, the all-wheel drive both having power to them it definitely gives you great torque for going up hills down hills things like that carrying a rider also when i do notice when i switch off uh, and go to maybe a rear wheel drive uh, the power difference is noticeable it's very noticeable so even though they've upgraded some of their newer bikes to 52 volt systems with 20 hour amp and the thousand watt motors it probably kind of competes with it a little bit but it's a definitely different uh different feeling when you have both motors going so oh. i guess if you were only to get a rear wheel drive uh, x class you probably wouldn't notice the difference because you can't compare the all-wheel drive feeling and they would still be fun bikes but it's definitely worth upgrading to a dual motor because you'll definitely notice the difference so all right so let's talk about positives and negatives a little bit on the aerial rider positives right now is it's just a really fun bike it is that dirt bike feeling it is a bmx type bike feeling that you could get from your youth if you were a big bmx rider or if you just liked riding your bmx back in the day it definitely has that feeling but now it's an electric bike you can just twist that throttle and take off it is a very very cool feeling it does have a lot of torque it is very fun it definitely puts a smile on your face it is a lot of fun so uh, it has pedals so you can definitely pedal it it can still be used for exercise and things like that with pedal assist so it does have a lot of features it does have the headlights and the battery rechargeable uh, a lot of life to it 20 uh, 18 amp hours 48 volt uh, i love the handlebar setup here because you have a very high upright feeling i do love the banana seat on this particular bike because it does allow you to carry a passenger uh, my kid loves to ride with me and we ride everywhere. He loves going as a passenger and just uh, having fun. It definitely has enough power to do tandem things. Uh, so you can definitely ride around with two riders and have some fun. So I like it. Let's go into negatives a little bit. So there is a few negatives. It, I would say one, the cup holder is cool, but n not very functional as the story I about told. the rocket propelled water bottle that I had when I had a, when I hit a bump. Uh, so it could happen uh, so kind of be careful with the water bottle holder uh, try not to hit any bumps also the rigid frame is rigid you will feel bumps on this thing so it definitely has uh, uh, no rear suspension so you're going to feel it it does have front suspension but the rear suspension uh, is kind of bumpy the seat is okay but over a long ride like if you go over an hour or so your butt's going to feel it there's some padding in here but it could be better in my opinion so if you uh, can find a way to upgrade that seat or anything uh, definitely padding's okay but not super great especially if you do ride with two riders and you carry that passenger i think it's a little bit more plush in the back than it is in the front so uh, just to let you know there but another negative is the rattles it does have rattles that come from every once in a while i think it mostly is the battery the battery kind of can move around and so I have put uh, maybe a little bit of uh, fabric in between the battery and the, the slider that you slide the battery on. And that kind of has helped some of that rattle. So I do that occasionally if I know I'm going to be going off road a little bit more. But if I'm just cruising on the street, it's not a big deal. Also negative, in my opinion, is it is an investment. So you have to have $2,600 to buy one of these. So it is an investment. It does save gas. I was going to get rid of the car anyways, but it definitely uh, is an investment to be able to pick one of these up at $2,600. So price point definitely is very expensive, but it is comparable when you're talking about electric bikes and other companies like Super 73 and companies like that. Uh, there is, th this company, Aerial Rider, is very comparable uh, to other companies when it comes to these types of electric bikes. So very, very fun. I just picture it as buying almost like a little uh, street allowed dirt bike because that's pretty much what it is. It still uh, complies with everything that you need legally at being a class two, 20 miles an hour, 750 watt motor hubs, things like that. So it's going to conform with a lot of uh, legal aspects, it has pedals, it can be ridden on trails, things like that. So be careful. Uh, it yeah. is a bicycle it's not really a toy you can hurt yourself it does have a lot of torque especially if you 
uh, take off with your handlebars turned it does have some torque so be careful it will throw you to the side a little bit so it is fun but be careful with it because it is very fast actually and it it will uh, you can have some fun with it we'll put it that way really really cool aerial rider d-class bike i will leave links for the other bikes as well uh, in case they're not going to make this anymore, but I wish they would because it is definitely a middle ground between all their bikes. So thank you so much for tuning in. This has just been an overview of the D-Class from Aerial Rider. I just wanted to put that out there because it's a really fun bike and I've been enjoying it. Please check it out. And thank you so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to y'all later. More videos like this coming. We'll talk to you later.